Hello students, good evening everybody. Welcome to our English class. So how are you? Good evening teacher, how are you? Oh, pretty good, thanks for asking. I really appreciate it. So... Good evening teacher. Hello, how's your, how's your night going? Very good. Good evening teacher. Good evening, good to see you. It's, it's a pleasure, it's a pleasure. Welcome you all to our English class. And um, I feel really excited today to start our class because we always have the opportunity to speak English, to practice and communicate actively. As I have said before, the, one of the best ways to maximize your English skills is by practicing. When we have a time to interact, communicate actively in the process, so it's very important um, to communicate actively and we go on with this process. So, I mean, this, we, we have this time to speak English to produce the language. I mean, we know that writing, it's, it's important. Also grammar, so it's a combination, but speaking is very valuable. So let's start today with the class and also um, with all the motivation you have, guys. Before we start, I just always ask for a feedback. So you can help me to answer some questions about what we did yesterday. So what we started, what do you remember? We talk, about, I study. We're talking about the future. The future, okay. And yeah, what, the past, the present. Okay, so we had we analyzed a period of time, right? Between the past, the present, and the future. The future, some future. activities that we were developing. Okay, and that is that is uh, something something important. I, I definitely yeah. believe in that. So what else, what else uh, do you remember we started? About development, development and the past and the present and the future. That's right, so we're talking about that. So we will continue uh, talking about the future because if you remember um, about this, this lesson is we're talking about the future about some possibilities in the future, some you know situations that we had to think about what is going to happen in the future. So let's start with that. And this is called conditional sentences with if clauses. Um, in this case, we will take a short time to study the first, the zero and the first conditionals. I just want to ask you just to remember some prior knowledge. And do you remember the, the conditionals? ¿Se, se, se, ¿Se recuerdan de los condicionales? ¿O han estudiado los condicionales? Yes. If I... No. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. No. In my case, yes. So we will take um, a feedback. For example, if... if... Exactly, we, we use if, and also talking about the possible present, situations, uh, present situation and future situations using the zero conditional, when we're talking about situations that happen nowadays in the present, and also we use the first conditional when we talk about hypothetical or situations that may happen in the future. And let's begin with the first activity related to this uh, video conference. And also, and we talk about this one, changing times. Look at this. Um, you can see some kids uh, right there watching something here. It is, um, how have things changed? Um, choose two of these topics or topics of your own, and then choose a period of time and discuss the questions below. For example, we have two, three possible questions here. We have the topics, clothing, education, entertainment, housing, medicine, sports, sports, um, technology and work. So we had to choose two topics from the list above and we had to um, try to ask some questions about it. For example, in clothing, what was it like 50 years ago? The clothing or the medicine 50 years ago? And 
what is it like today? Well, there are different type of clothes with be better fabric, better material, so we can talk about the present. And what will what will it be like in 50 years? Oh, well, then perhaps the clothes will have a better material and with a better fabric manufactured, so you can talk about a future. Or for example, you can choose another, another category uh, about education. What was it like 50 years ago, education? Well, 50 years ago, there were not um, too many researches, uh, investigation. Uh, they, they were some, they were not some subjects that nowadays we have. Also, we didn't have access to technology uh, to combine education and technology. Uh, maybe the, the roles at school were very strict. There were not uh, too many, you know, methodologies for teaching. So you can talk about that. What is it like today? Well, the education has improved. There are many uh, investigations, more theses, more things to teach. There are new subjects to teach. There are more trained professors. So we can talk about that. What will it be like in 50 years? Well, I think the teachers will be robots or will, the teachers will be machines or the classes will be online through holograms. So you can think about whatever, you, one of the topics. And then housing, entertainment. So what I want you to do is to think about two topics and you will discuss the following questions. What was it like 50 years ago? Right. What is it? like today and what will it be like in 50 years so that's what we had to do and i want you to think about the two uh when you think about the two topics and also try to uh, respond your equations because we will and uh, share with our class the topics that we have selected and also the answers for each one at the same time we can and share or answers. That's what we had to do. Think about the two topics and then choose a period of time and then have this question. Hay un micrófono que tienes. Gracias. Okay. Um, ¿Está claro qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, Ricardo, what topics will you choose? Uh, clothing, education, entertainment? Work and uh, housing. Okay, that is a great, uh, great point. For example, uh, I am thinking about what um, will, will it be like in 50 years, the houses? I mean, maybe the houses will be with different material. I don't know, different constructions. I don't know, we talk about that. Okay, so think about it. I will give you um, like two minutes to think about it. And also what, posi what information you will share with your class. Take this time right now.
Uh, Ricardo, your microphone. Okay, so in this moment, we will work in the breakout rooms. And the main purpose of this breakout room is to share the information that we have together. So you will um, ask the questions and you will socialize the information that you have studied. So let's see, we work in the breakout rooms and we will take a short time to, to share um, or answers in the small groups. So I will create them. I will create the sessions and you will have access to get in. And you have five minutes to socialize this information. Let's begin. Computer, uh, they only use a boobs. And remember that the boobs has have a little information in sometimes we didn't understand. And uh, the technology, the people didn't know. In five years ago, I think that the people didn't know well the technology. The, I remember thinking that I remember so that I never was to use a computer like today. And Uh, also, the information that the UNL give us is more complete. Because five years ago, we don't have uh, we don't have the opportunity to find a lot of information like today. And what is I don't know if I if I can answer all the the three questions or by by one together. Hello. Yes. Yes. What? Okay. What is it like today? I think that uh, the education is more complete because the teacher have more more uh, information and education, so they know how the children knows and when the children can know. And the technology, the people, uh, uh, the people know, uh, need to know how to use all the information or the computer. Because if you don't know, you can work and you don't can uh, receive the class. 
Um, also, we have more easy apps that help us for to work or for to receive something that we need to know. For example, the class, the English class, or give some reports, something like that. Um, um, talking about the internet, they have uh, the internet has a lot of information that you can find in your computer. Um, what will it be like in five years? So I think that in five years the education it will be more easy because. I think that the students uh, would to outside the house, so they are going to receive all the information in their house, and also I can the student will to will receive all the information about the technology mm -hmm. in the technology. For I don't know, for cheat, I don't know. I don't know what the people is I'm going to imagination, going to direct to, direct to their 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 brains. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think that the education and technology is going to uh is going to be uh together to the okay. hands. I going yes. to I think that the future it will be better than now. <laughs> I better don't know than... if <laughs> Okay, uh, better better than now. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it's probably. Okay. That's my information. Hmm. Okay, that's it. <laughs> okay. Nice Anna Filomena. Yes. yes. Thanks, nice. Nadia. And my turn. Um Talking about the question, what was it like the fixture year cycle? When I when I read this question, I I remember a model. Her name is Holly Balding. Um, she is a model and famous model. And one turn, uh, and the walk. Catwalk and the catwalk on the catwalk she she put um dress um como le digo? she oh, she used in the catwalk and the two men were doing with the spray in the in the oh when she walked and two men make the dress with the spray and then in this moment for me it's the impression and moment and the, and this question when you when i read this question i remember this moment uh, but in my exercise is about clothing and it's a very amazing dress and uh, this is my first question what in the second question is what is like today? Um, it's the same sam the same sample is uh, um I love the clothing in the Halle Balding too. And what will it be in the fifty years? And I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't make this this. <laughs> question maybe we will return to the to the beginning <laughs> i don't know you know <laughs> I, i'm sorry <laughs> okay okay <laughs> that's in okay <laughs> and you know me or yes crazy things um, i don't think Yes, if not boring, they are it's very, very, very cute. It's very sad. 
Only that. <laughs> and <laughs> what will it be like in 50 years? Is it like in 50 years? Um, house in the space? <gasps> in the moon? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like because I I love the the space the stars the planet uh, Jack, as Jack Jackson como the supersonic como era Jack Jack ah uh, I don't Jet Jet, Jet. Jet. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, similar. Okay. similar the moon <laughs> Okay, and um, only that. And we um, sport. Sport. Yes. The the first question. Um. And 50, 50 years, years ago, a sport is very funny, and I think because uh, uh, the people that used use the use, I I don't know in past use. Anima, for example, los gladiadores, verdad? Yes, <laughs> yes, and and the. Uh, Cavernícolas, you say. No, 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 it's years ago. 50 years ago. Ah, oh, yes, 50 years ago is, 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 is true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I am nervous. <laughs> okay. okay. Y que me cuesta, me cuesta. Ay, ayer quería tirar la toalla, pero no voy a, no la voy a tirar. Bueno, voy a intentar terminar este curso. Ah, yeah. <laughs> and what is you can like? do it? Mm, <laughs> yes, but uh, it's more difficult. I don't yes, know. This is difficult for yeah. my for my in age. The, in sport, <laughs> for example, the the uniform, the uniform. Ah, yes, the uniform is very different. It's very different because the the is more small. Small shorts. Yes. Small shorts. Yes. Okay, students, um, congratulations for the work done. I could um, listen actively what you have said and also the way how you can um, socialize about the, the things, about the topics you have selected. I could also listen to um, some of you interacting and having a good time speaking in English. You sounds pretty good to listen to you guys. That is one of the ways that work in the teams and, and practice and socialize vocabulary. Okay, we have the next activity, um, but this I will explain you what to do. Remember, this is the one of the chances that we have to speak, speak, speak. Don't stop until you get what you what you have. Interview your partner and write a paragraph about his or her tops for the future. Don't write in paper names on this. So in that case, what I want you to do, so we will re, reorganize this idea. 
you will think about hopes for the future. What do you think will happen? What do you think is going to happen in the future? So you can write like three, four lines uh, about what you think it's going to happen in the future. What hopes will the future? What is going to happen with medicine? What about technology? What about humans? Um, what things do you consider will happen in the future? We're talking about maybe 50 years. As the previous example we saw that we were like thinking about 50 years above. So I want you to think about it. So you can write um, a short paragraph of four or five lines. And after that, you will um, share these thoughts about a future and you will share this information with your partner. So I will give you also some minutes to think about what do you think will happen in the future? So you can talk in a general way. So look at the example. In 10 years, she'd be a successful actress. So you can talk about yourself too. For example, you can say, you know what? I think in, five, in 10 years, I will travel to New York and I will, I will go with some friends to um, Manhattan or we will visit Las Vegas, Nevada. I don't know, think about that. And so that's why you had to, you have to think about what do you think will happen in the future? So that's why look at the examples. In 10 years, she'll be a successful actress and then you'll be famous and we'll start a movie and a television. I don't know, think about where it's going to happen in the future. Also, you can focus about you and also focus about some things in the future. So it's actually free to think about that. Hopes for the future. Maybe you can say, wow, I think that in 10 years I will be living in London in, the, in England uh, because I have learned, <laughs> I don't know, something like that. Think about it. So I will give you some minutes to, to have a short writing because later with this information you have, you will share it to your partner and your partner will take notes about that. That's what we had to do. Okay, so meanwhile, you work in this part. Um, look at this one. I want you to do this one. Vamos a trabajar en este momento en eso. Usted piense en las esperanzas para el futuro. ¿Qué va a pasar? ¿Qué va a pasar en, qué? en unos 10 años, 20 años? Eh, para usted, para su entorno. I don't know. Think about it. And after that, we will go back to the breakup rooms and we will share this information, okay? So I will give you some minutes to write about it. And if you have any questions or doubts related to the vocabulary, or maybe a word that you don't know, or you don't know how to write something, you got uh, the freedom to ask questions about the vocabulary. Let's start.
Okay, in this moment, um, we will take this time to check the attendance list. Allow me one moment, please. Okay, you will listen to your name and you say present. Let's see, um, Alejandro Jose Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thanks. Um, Ana Filomena Mendoza. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Andrea Geraldina Sanchez. Present teacher. Thanks. Um, Andrea Michelle Garcia. Present teacher. Uh, Blanca Marisol Vargas. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Boris uh, Martin Salinas. Present teacher. Uh, Brian Isaac Escamilla. Present. Carlos Jose Asensio. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Denise Isaias Gomez. Present teacher. Thanks. Daisy Carolina Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Dina Elizabeth Flores. Teacher, I didn't hear my name. Jaime Escalante. Uh, you say? Dina Elizabeth, uh, present teacher. Uh, Dina Elizabeth, okay, porque you don't... Yes, okay, I know. Um, but Escalante. Uh, sorry, teacher, I didn't hear my name, but I'm here in the class. Jaime yeah. Escalante. Yeah, but I think your name is not mentioned yet. So, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I think it because the uh, for the the name, I think I, I was past my name. Okay, uh, be, be careful, we will mention. Okay, yeah, yeah, thanks. Elba Carolina Vasquez, present teacher, thanks. Uh, Erika uh, Maydell Antonio, present teacher, Francisco Alberto Lemus, present teacher. I'm here, thanks. good evening, thanks. good evening, welcome. It is Regina Hernandez. Is here, teacher. Thanks, uh, Jaime Rolando Escalante. I'm here, teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Jenny Elizabeth Santiana. Jenny. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jessica Janet Sanchez. Jessica. Here. Thank you. Juan Eduardo Moran. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Katia. Graciela Juan de Candray. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Maria Lucila Soto Ponce. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Maritza Isabel Mendez Aguirre. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Nadia Isolina Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Noemí Alicia Estrada. Present teacher. Thanks. Oscar Armando Cruz. Oscar. Present teacher. Thanks. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Ricardo de Jesus Ramirez. Ricardo de Jesus. Present teacher. Present. Thank you. Uh, Sara Nelda Guzman. Present teacher. Thanks. Vidal Evelio Mejia. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Wendy Abigail Rivera. Present teacher. Uh, Wilfredo Mendoza Ramos. Uh, present teacher thanks i mean it, most of you are right here so that's that's very spectacular so congratulations to all of you for your attendance list so i'm really i'm really pleased to know that most of you are right here in the class so that shows that you got um you know the encouragement and also the responsibility for being here in the class and that's that's beautiful so that's what i can see here in the attendance list we're actually 31 on the list so most of you are right here so that is the huge and the big example about the progress we have with the language, but overall it's the responsibility that we take for that. Good job. Muy bien. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Ya casi? ¿Ya casi tenemos nuestro párrafo? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so I think we will have enough time to share this information. So uh, I really love to, to listen to people talking about the future because we have to think about some personal projections in life. When somebody tells me, you know what, I would like to um, to have a job in this place. I think that I will um, uh, go to Europe and I will visit some cities 
or I will travel in this place. So our personal projections. And I love that because when we talk about projections, we talk about goals, we talk about dreams, and we also work for it. That's good. Um, bien, vamos a, vamos a regresar a los grupos y usted comparte su experiencia con sus compañeros. So get ready, guys, with the groups. And so because we have more information, so we will make small groups, like four or five members each. So we'll have a short time to share our ideas. So I will click on this and be ready to be in the rooms. Let's go. The, the way of life mm -hmm. in my personal in the years I wish I could continue with my beautiful family I my work as tight, tight as possible even difficult the work okay Okay. Uh, in 10 years, I want to live in the United States. Okay, I have a good job. Be a millionaire and help people in need. Only. No. Repeat. Uh, re repeat the su última parte, no entendí. Uh -huh. I 10 years I want to live in the United States. Mm -hmm. Have a good job. Be a millionaire. And help people in need. Ayudarle um, a la gente que necesita. Help. Uh, I help. need. Ah, okay. Help. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. That's great. Somos cinco. A ver, Eva, okay. Juan, in, in my case, in 10 years, I will be traveling on a cruise around the world with my family. Repeat, please. In 10 years, I will be traveling on a cruise around the world with my family. A ver si entendimos. Dice que en 10 años va a viajar un crucero con toda su familia. Yes. <laughs> ah, pues ahí me lleva. <laughs> Hello, Brian. God bless you, Erika. Thank you. And what about Brian? Ah, Brian. Yeah, finish. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. <laughs> okay. Okay. Finish the exercise. We finished the exercise. We okay. we all talking about this exercise with our the store. But your uh, job is your store. Yeah, I have the store. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, a ah. store. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Store. A shop. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, the New York, New York. Okay. New York. Okay. Ah, New York. Ah, ah, New York. Okay. Okay. Ah, yeah. I'm going to listen in New, New York. Yeah, me too, me too. I listen to uh, New listen York too. I listen that you want to go to New York. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, no. ah, possible. Because your yes. family life in the other country. Ah. Okay. okay. But oh, when God. when do you hope to start to, to study psychology? When? Uh, the, the, when? The, when? For the is, next year? No, the next year. Because it's the moment, it's the discretion. Yes. Uh, so ah, you okay. start so, the next year. You will Study start. For psychology. Yeah. You okay. will start the next the next year in January, maybe. maybe. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or June okay. or March. Nice. Congratulations. Nice. Congratulations. I think. Nice. Congratulations. I think. You know, I, 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 I love psychology, you know. Psychology is a, it's a science, very, very, very um, I don't know what is the word to say. Um interesting. Um, I don't know. And but, today is very important for to progress the yeah personal the brain, problems and your, personal yes, problems and, your, and all kinds of things that we have and the to study in the, the moment in the study in the moment is the mark Okay, students, so let's continue with the with the rest of the exercises. So congratulations for the activities that you had developed, the time you had for you know, socializing about the future, about the goals that you have projected for this coming year, on um, some years, like 10 years, five years. So you, you decide a time that you have some things in the future, some hopes in the future. Well, we will focus today about the following exercise that for you is going to be like a short backup. I mean, um, some of you have studied the use of the conditional sentences with if clauses. And also, let's uh, concentrate in this activity because I will explain you how it is and how it works and some points about that. So we can also combine a Spanish show to make sure that we have a clear idea about this. Well, first of all, conditional sentences can describe situations and consequences that are possible in the present or in the future. And I give you one example. What happened if I study English? What, what do you think happened if I study English? Give me an idea. You, you will be uh, communicating with other people. I will communicate with people, with uh, foreigners. You can uh, find a good job. You, you, you can find a good job, okay. Okay. What I can time? travel the other country. You can travel to other English countries and also practice. Okay. And okay. I will be polyglot. Okay, to speak more than two languages, that's that would be valuable. So by three languages. Oh. Three probably language. probably you will you will understand uh, the the movie the movie of english english movies okay you can you can understand english movies and you, you can see a lot of things uh, in present in the future for example um what happened if if i exercised if i decided you know i need to go to the gym if i exercise i what happened you're going to be in shape I'm in shape. So, I mean, we are talking about the present and also future. Depending on the context, we are talking about the present or also the future. And the conditional sentences describe situations 
and consequences that are possible in the present or in the future. So depending on the context. So look at the example, possible situations with present tense forms. If I quit smoking, if I quit smoking, si yo dejo de fumar, I might gain, uh, I might gain weight. If I gain weight, I won't be able to fit into my clothes. Okay. If my clothes don't fit, I'll have to buy new ones. If I get a part-time job, you may uh, be able to save some money. So we're talking about situations. So be able is often used with the models. I will. That will in Spanish will be be able is in español como decir ser capaz. Yo soy capaz en inglés digo I am able to do something. I am able to speak English. Or I will, or I want, I will be able to speak English. If I study English, I will be able to communicate with native speakers. If I finish my career, I will be able to have a very interesting job, or etc. Or also in the, in the present time. Puede ser tanto en el presente como en el futuro. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, if I exercise, I look better. Eh, si yo me ejercito, me veo mejor. Entonces, la oración está en presente porque describe una situación, una consecuencia, ya sea en el presente o en el futuro. Pero hay acciones donde sí van directamente al futuro. Por ejemplo, si yo estudio inglés, yo tendré un buen trabajo. If I study English, I will get a better job. En este caso, la oración sí tiene que indicarme un futuro porque es un proceso el que voy a seguir. So that is the difference about that. Y ustedes me van a ayudar a poder eh, identificar si la oración pueda que vaya en presente o pueda que vaya en futuro. Veamos los ejemplos. Look at the examples here. Um, I will use some other colors. Match closes in column A with appropriate information from the column B, then compared with the partner. If you eat less sugar, uh, what do you think will happen if you eat less sugar? Si te come, you, you might feel healthier. Uh, option B. You yes. might feel healthier. Yeah. yeah, there's a possibility too, of course. Tú podrías sentirte más saludable. Ese my es un, es un model bird. Es un modal. Es un auxiliar. Entonces, me indica una probabilidad en un tiempo pasado. Podrías eh, sentirte más saludable. O sea, podrías, right? Pero como no quiere dejar de comer azúcar, entonces it's like a possibility. Um, a if you walk to work every day, you will stay in chill without joining a team. Very easy. 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 You, you'll stay in shape without joining a gym. Muy bien. Eh, ya nos está diciendo que si yo, pues, eh, si yo camino al trabajo todos los días, eh, estaré en forma. Entonces ya me está indicando un futuro. It's a future time. Um, if you don't get enough sleep, si tú no duermes bien o no duermes lo suficiente, you won't be able, able, able to stay awake, awake, to stay awake in class. Stay awake in class. And that happens, that happens to me. Yeah, that happens to me like uh, like two days ago. It, it's complicated. You don't want to wake up. <laughs> if you own a pet. Yeah, you may. Have... Yeah, so I, totally, I totally agree with that. Why? If you, if you don't get married. Do we have more money, more more money, more money, money, more money to spend on your service? Absolutely, Lord Day. Absolutely, Lord D. Oh my God. Pants. Or maybe Lord A. It's the pants. No, it's not necessary. I'm speechless. Get very, get very expensive. I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Do you agree? Yeah. No, I don't agree. It depends. It's true. Oh, it depends. It depends. I don't agree. So yeah, because we, we, we don't know how many match, so how maybe, much money, how the, yeah, the person before. Because the other person can give you money too. <laughs> yes, yes. And, yes. and who, who is the bride? Is oh. the bride Shakira? 
Ah, ah okay. yes. <laughs> Ambitious. <laughs> ambitious. Okay, that would be different. <laughs> okay. Well, be ambitious. <laughs> It's a goal. It's a goal. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's continue with the next one. And for this one, um, I want you to help me to try to use this structure. So just we're going to try to make it big so you can feel a much better way. So put the verb in bracket into the correct tense. Uh, ahí vamos viendo nosotros si pues podría ir en presente o podría ir en futuro. If I see him, si yo lo veo, eh, pues como que le daré un a lift o un aventón o algo así, como ride, you know. Um, ¿Qué sería? Present or future? I will. I will. I will get. Future. Future. I will give him a lift, right? Es una expresión como decir, hey, si le voy, le voy a dar un aventón. Maybe there's a possibility uh, here with that. Okay, look at the number two here. Yeah. And then, el uh, micrófono, por ahí alguien tiene el micrófono activado, please check that one, please. Right, look at the number two. The, the table will break if you... Okay, aquí la oración cambió. Eh, si nosotros iniciamos con if I, if you, pero también la oración puede ir al revés, puede ir la respuesta y luego va el if. The table will break if you... ¿Cómo sería acá? Get sit on it. Sit sí, on it. Sí. Sí. Solo sería así, porque como ya está will acá, yo no, puedo, usar, ya no puedo utilizar yes. eh, will en oh. otra oración porque ya está acá. Entonces, solo se, se escribe una vez will. The table will break if you sit on it. La mesa se romperá si tú te sientas en ella. So, the table will break if you sit on it. Okay, look at the next one. Uh, number three. If he, all that, he will be ill. Eat. If he eat all that, if he eat, okay, it's without is no with with e. Exactly. With s. With us, s. Yes, excuse me. Yes, because it's a uh -huh. because it's a third person in singular. That's okay. Yeah. Aquí siempre aplica la regla de terceras personas. Si él come, si él se come todo eso, él se enfermará, right? Él se enferme, mm -hmm. se enfermará. So we can. Y aquí mm -hmm. vemos que está el will. El auxiliar. Okay, so it's in will. Look at this one. If I find your passport, I will, I will telephone. I, I may. I will call I you. May. I will telephone you. I or I will yeah. call you. Yeah, also you can use will. Yeah, I will call you. Oh, will let you oh. know. So you can use different. Oh. I mean, telephone, you know, you can do that. Okay. I will call you. I will call you, right? That mm -hmm. will... um, teacher, yeah. teacher, uh, please uh, write the exercise. Use the word telephone, please. I'm sorry. What? What do you need? Can you write the the example? We can use t the word telephone. Using the word telephone. Using instead of call, using telephone. Yes. Yes, teacher. And actually, um, it's the same because the word telephone is a noun and also a verb. In este caso, la palabra telephone puede ser usada como sustantivo y puede ser utilizada como verbo también. No es muy común, pero sí se ocupa. Yo puedo decir, I telephone you. Y así como que, hey, pero en serio, y si existe esa palabra, si existe, solo que no se dice comúnmente. Las personas mejor dicen call you or I will let you know. So I call you back. It's much more que telephone you. So nos quedaría así. Um, teacher, uh, uh, we, the will uh, always we can use with the word telephone. I mean, it's because the context. If I find your password, I will telephone you. I mean, it's because the context is saying that if I find a password, uh, I will let you know that I that I find it, but you can use it or not will, depending the context. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. And the police, so you can say police, no, it's police, the police. The police will, will arrest. Will arrest. Will arrest. Will arrest. If they will. catch him, okay. In that case, we need it because of the context. 
will arrest. arrest. The police will arrest him. Will arrest him um, if they catch him. La policía lo lo arrestará si ellos lo atrapan. Right. That will be the context. Uh, number six. If he, if if we read the light, read him back wide, he will ruin his eyes. Okay. Um, ¿Qué significa que pues si él lee con una luz muy opaca, Ajá. pues él se dañará los ojos, sus ojos? De hecho, hay cierta luz que no no se puede no puede leer uno con cierta luz por la si es tenue no es recomendable. Mm. Not good for your eyes. It has to be clear, visible, so it doesn't affect your eyes. Number seven. Someone will, will steal, steal. Will steal your car. Okay, because uh, possibility in the future it will steal your car if you leave it unlocked. Number eight. Um, what will happen if my parachute won't what, what open? Um, Maybe. Not, be, not because we're using will. Uh, doesn't open. Doesn't, 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 doesn't open. Yeah, because it's present, right? Hmm. ¿Y qué le va a pasar si no? Imagínense. ¿Qué pasará si mi paracaídas no abre? Mm -hmm. We're going to die. Bye. 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 Goodbye. So that would be hard. <laughs> See <Okay>. you later. <laughs> if he, um, if he, wash, if he wash my car, why? Wash or washes? Washes. Which is my car? I give him ten dollars. Mm. Hey, ten dollars will be reasonable. <laughs> With ten dollars, that's nice. Okay. If <laughs> if she. <laughs> If she will she needs a radio. If she needs a radio, she can borrow mine. Uh -huh. eh, en este caso no podemos utilizar will porque cuando va if no va will, sino que oh. will va en la siguiente parte. En este caso yes, yes. no necesitamos will porque aquí estamos utilizando un auxiliar mm. que es can. Es a posibilidad. Si ella necesita una radio, ella puede eh, ella puede prestar el mío. Entonces Ahí vemos el contexto. Si ella necesita mm -hmm. un radio, un radio comunicador, ella puede prestar el mío. So okay. that, that's the context. Okay. Um, if you don't go, don't go away. If you don't go, if you don't go away, I call the police. Mm -hmm. Si tú no te vas, llamaré a la policía. That's the goal. If um, I'll be very angry if he Makes 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 um, any more make any more mistakes, mistakes any more mistakes right so you can see those examples about the the these structures ahí vemos que vamos combinando ya sea el presente o el futuro depende del contexto and y eso es uno de las de los goals eh, para esta clase right that you can also check los condicionales porque me condicionan me indican algo me dicen que algo va a pasar O que si hago esto, hago esto como causa y efecto. So that's the point mm -hmm. about that. So, well, uh, time is up. We will continue tomorrow with more exercises with the with these Ooh. structures. So we, we will have as part of the homework. So if you can do it, try to complete that part. And tomorrow we'll give briefly uh, re respond these exercises. So thank you so much for all of you guys to be here. Hope to see you tomorrow and congratulations for the work done today in class. Hey, see you Thanks, teacher. Teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye bye.